Hey, Dr. Calarco, what are the differences between Percocets and heroin? All right, great question. Okay, so let's talk about Percocet first and we'll compare and contrast. So Percocet is a combination of oxycodone, which is a semi-synthetic opioid. It's like uh, codeine, morphine, uh, hydrocodone, fentanyl, things of that nature, and acetaminophen, which is also known as Tylenol, okay? It's usually taken orally. It is a prescription medicine in the United States. It's a Schedule II, so doctors can prescribe it for pain, and it's uh, been around for a long time. Heroin, first of all, it is also also an opioid, and they're both derived from the opium poppy. The thing about heroin though, it's a schedule one, which means that there's no acceptable medical use for it in the United States, and that means, i.e., it's illegal, okay? So you can't prescribe it. <laughs> and unlike uh, Percocet, which is usually taken orally, most people will like in, uh, mainline it into their vein, they inject into a muscle, they may snort it, they may smoke it in a pipe. Much, they usually don't use it, take it orally, okay? The respiratory depression that can cause overdose, both of these medications, both the Percocet and the heroin, do it the same way. And their withdrawal, pretty much exactly the same. But there's one major distinction. If you overdose on heroin, we can use naloxone, also known as Narcan, to reverse that very quickly. And in Percocet, the oxycodone component, we can also reverse very quickly, like with paramedics in the ER, you know, oxycodone, because it's also an, an opiate. The problem that we come into is if you overdose on a bunch of Percocets, it's the Tylenol, i.e. acetaminophen, which is the problem. That thing can fry your liver and it'll land you on the transplant liver list if they don't treat it in time. Follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you're struggling and need help, contact us in our profile today.